How's it going, everybody? My name is B, and welcome back to Your Altcoins. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about the big king, the grand daddy, and how it really is the barometer. I've used this phrase a million times already. It is the tide that floats or sinks all boats. And it is insane to watch it in action on a very short time frame, and how when it just tanks, it takes everything else with it. And then when there's a little bit of confidence back in Bitcoin, everything else goes up. It's insane. Watch this, guys. So here we are taking a look at the three-minute Bitcoin chart. And you may be thinking to yourself, B, why are you looking at a three-minute chart? Isn't that too small? Yes and no. I want to show you something. Here is Bitcoin ever since ooh, right around here. I'm going to take my little pen tool out. Right around here is the beginning of the 2nd of February. Right? So looking at three, six, nine, twelve, a little bit of about 16 hours worth of Bitcoin here. And see this dip right here. I was asleep when this happened. And I'm so upset that I was asleep when this happened because I have been trading in a bear market. What I've been doing personally, I'm not sure about you guys, but what I've been doing is I've been watching the trends of coins, such as Bitcoin, and I've been trying to sell them up here and then rebuy them low and then sell them again when they get high and rebuy them low over and over and over again. By doing this, I may not necessarily be increasing my USD amount, but I have been increasing the amount of individual coins I'm holding on to for certain cryptocurrencies during this downtrending market. So last night, earlier this morning, this happened. All of a sudden it went down, 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 down just a parabolic curve of down. And then the market decided, you know what? We've had enough. I think we're done with the down and we're going straight up just straight up. And I want to show you how this mirrors other coins. Let's pull up Po. Oh, look, here is this random low and then boom, straight up. Simple token, low, straight up. ICX, low, straight up. Tron, low, straight up. Ethereum, low, straight up. Litecoin, low, straight up. Over and over and over and over again. I can go through every single coin I'm looking at here. IOTA, low, straight up and on and on, and on, and on. No exception. Every single coin is so, so strongly tied to Bitcoin. So what I'm doing right now, personally, I'm watching Bitcoin. I'm watching Bitcoin on the three minute chart. And this is, this is a very good strategy right now for just kind of swing trading and stuff. I'm watching Bitcoin on the three minute chart and I'm seeing it's climbed steadily. So I bought in, I think I bought into Simple Token right now, for example. I think I bought into Simple Token. I bought in, I grabbed a bunch at like the 4,000 level. And then I grabbed a bunch at like the 4,100 level. And I'm watching Bitcoin. And this is my barometer. This is the tide that's going to float my Simple Token boat. And when I think Bitcoin is starting to take a turn back down, I'll sell my Bitcoin and then ride the wave down and then accumulate more Simple Token. It's a very simple strategy. Could it bite me in the butt? Sure. To be honest, I'm really enjoying this. This is a ton of fun for me. I love this stuff. So Bitcoin right now is just over $9,000. It reached a low, guys, of $7,600. If I was awake... If I was awake and you can never catch like the bottom, but what if I caught it here? Oh, that's the wrong tool. I need a different tool. I need the long position tool. What if I caught it right here, guys? Wah bam. You're looking at a 17% profit. 17% profit. A stock in a stock market would be happy to see that in a year. And we saw that in what? An hour? Welcome to crypto. It is a wild ride. And if you're paying attention, you can reap some very good benefits. So long as you know and you stick to your guidelines of when you're getting in and when you're getting out. And B, you may be asking yourself, how do you know when to get in and when to get out? That's why we have different tools to do so. For example, on the three-minute chart, look how low, so this is Bitcoin actually, look how low Bitcoin got in the RSI on the three-minute chart. It's insanely low. There's usually a correction. Let's take a look through the history of Bitcoin. Just recent history. Got low, correction. Got low, correction. Kind of low, sorry to correct. Got low, correction. I can keep going, guys. I can keep going. Low, correction. Now, sometimes the corrections are very minor, but sometimes if it gets really low, it corrects very strongly. Like, that's a very strong correction. What's the profit on that correction? Bam. Whoa, bam. Quick 5% in what? 12 minutes? Quick 5% in 12 minutes? I'll take it. So that's one indicator. There's tons of indicators. Okay. Also, for those of you wondering, this is tradingview.com. Link in the description down below. Okay, guys. Link in the description down below to tradingview.com. 
to ICO alert if you want to learn about ICOs, to coin market cap capitalizations. Great website. Link down there. I'll, I'll put links down there to my Twitter. I'll put links down there to Philicone's Twitter and Philicone's 13, 14, 15 lessons on crypto, which I believe you will find very, very useful. So check that out as well. So what am I doing right now? I'm just watching Bitcoin. Let's zoom out. Let's go to the one. Let's go to the one day. So Bitcoin, here's the big old picture of Bitcoin, right? I drew a Fibonacci. This is Fibonacci extension right now. Delete that. Let's take a look at Fibonacci retracement from this point here. That's my point I'm going to take a look at. I'll go to the top of the wick. So we're hovering in this 618786 range. There was a hard push down here. And you know what this usually signals? Remember how I talked about, guys, how you're looking for a signal that you might see a reversal in the market? Look at this long wick. Delete you. Uh, turn this off. Zoom it in. Look at this hard Hard wick here, guys. I'm going to draw a circle around it for you. Right here. Look at these wicks. Look at these long rejection wicks. The bears try to push the price down, and the bulls were like, nah, bruh, we're going straight up. Those are very bullish signs. We see another example of that right here. See these nice, big, fat wicks, especially this really long wick? Kind of drew a penis there. Did not mean to do that. And then, look, retrace back up. Retrace back up. Very, very powerful indicators. These are on the one day candle. These are not like a no, one hour, one minute. These are one day candles. Look, again, long wick, eventually retraced up and retraced up. So have we reached a bottom? Possibly. We have very possibly reached a bottom. If you take a look at this on the RSI scale, the relative strength index, it's quite low. Now, remember, these are the daily candles, guys. They're the daily candles. The RSI is quite low. I mean, look, even using simple RSI, when it was climbing, guys, hold on, I'm going to adjust this thingy, bring this down. When Bitcoin was climbing, look at this. And we're talking about Bitcoin because, again, it floats all boats. Bitcoin floats all boats. When Bitcoin was climbing, look how high it was in the RSI. Obviously, it's a correction. Now, this is a very bullish zone. Remember, Brown's rule... Brown's RSI rule states bullish zone is 40 and up. So if you get to about here, if it exists in a, this zone here, 40 and up, this is a very bullish zone. It means that the price is going to be increasing. If it exists in that 60 to 20 range, this is a very bearish zone. As you can see, it's in 60 to 20. Price is going down. Price is going down. Price is going down. Now, you just notice that there's overlapping when it comes to this rule. I mentioned 40 and up and 60 and down. That's because there's a very neutral area between 35 and around here-ish. 35 and 65. Anything in here is very neutral. As you can see, very neutral. Not a whole lot happening here. Not a whole lot happening here. So RSI is a good indicator on both the macro scale when looking at it on a day-to-day -day basis and on a micro scale when looking at it as simply as something as the three-minute basis. Oh, God. Turn auto back on. So know when something is oversold or undersold, overbought or underbought. It's a very interesting game that we play here in crypto, right? Very, very interesting game. And I find myself doing this more than pretty much any other game you could ever want to play. I love watching this crypto market go up and down. I love trying to figure out when to get in and when to get out. It's a ton of fun for me. And I hope it's a ton of fun for you guys too. Because I understand that there's so much fear and negativity. I understand that people are so bearish on the entire market and that it's down. Because everyone, I know there are so many of you that got in when Bitcoin was at $15,000. When things like Ripple were at $3. When Tron was at $0.20. Cents. I understand. I understand you're holding on to these bags thinking, do I sell? Do I buy? What do I do? I can't give you financial advice, guys. I can't tell you exactly what to do. I can't tell you exactly how to uh, handle your own life circumstances. All I can say is that personally, me, I believe that crypto is very bullish. Overall, in a 2019 perspective, I think that crypto is quite bullish. If you were to go back in time, to this time last year, when Litecoin was $4. And you were to tell that person holding Litecoin that your coin would reach $300. Nonetheless, $30, right? Nonetheless, $30 from a $4 to $30 increase. What is that, 8x? No, a 300 plus. I think it hit 350 for a while there. The Bitcoin user, where last two Decembers ago, Bitcoin was at like $1,000. Guys, watch this. Hold on a second. 
Watch this. I want to show you something. Okay. I'm going to show you something. This is like history loves to repeat itself. Let's go to Bitcoin, shall we? We're zooming. We're zooming. May 2017. What is this, guys? Oh my God. What do we have here? Christmas, December 2016. Bitcoin was $700. Oh, what's this? January 4th, Bitcoin hit $1,115. Oh my God, we're dying. Oh my God, Bitcoin's dying. Oh my God, Bitcoin cut in more than that. Oh my God. And then middle of January, Bitcoin is $780. Guys, this happens. This crash stuff happens. But look what happens over February and March of 2017. Let's go further back. Let's go further back. Let's go back to Christmas of 2015. November 2015, Bitcoin's worth $250. And then it's a peak of $500. And then it drops all the way back to $294. And then it goes up. And then all of this is nothing compared to what happens next. Look at this increase. This is in May and June of 2016. This is the summer 2016. We're at $456. We jump up to 760. And then we drop all the way back to 450 again. Look at that. Insane. So why am I showing you history? Why am I showing you all this? Because every single time these things happened, every single time there was a massive burst in the market relative to before, and then there's this massive retracement period and people are freaking out and it's Bitcoin ending and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't want to hear it because all I see over the course of time is Bitcoin continue to go up. And even if we retrace super hard right now, you know, in a couple months time, February, March, we're getting up here, guys. We're getting up here because it happens every single time, every single time. No crazy technical analysis today. No crazy anything other than to let you know that Bitcoin is really low. Bitcoin on the daily is chilling down here in the low ends of the RSI. It can't be here forever. Look at history. Came down here, spiked back up. 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 Over and over and over and over. Look at this. Look at all these things down here where eventually it spikes back up, guys, every single time. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of time. It is not the end of Bitcoin. Certainly not the end of Bitcoin. Everyone talking about, oh my God, Bitcoin is so low. We'll never see a higher Bitcoin ever again. Not a chance. Not a chance, boys and girls. I don't believe it at all. So what do you do for now? You wait. You wait and you chill, right? You, you play the market a little bit. You buy low, you sell high. You play the market a little bit. You try and accumulate as much as you can. You buy in when you can and you wait. So that's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. All we can do is wait. Wait for Bitcoin to completely recover. Wait for Bitcoin to prove, oh, look, guys, Bitcoin dropped 100 bucks. And look, simple token that I was in dropped. Happens like clockwork right now. Just follow the price of Bitcoin and you can follow the price of every other coin right now. Oh, it's crazy how accurate this is. It's crazy. It is the water. It is the ocean. It is the tide that floats and sinks all boats in the harbor. And every other altcoin is a boat in the harbor. Tied off to the harbor, hoping that they hit high tide. And for those of you that jumped into your boat, whether that's Trump, whether that's Verge, whether that's whatever, for those of you that jumped into your boat while there was a high tide, and the tide is super low right now, and you're reaching up, and you can't get out of your boat because you can't reach the edge of the pier, just wait. The tide's going to come back. You can get out, or you're going to stay in your boat and wait for a higher tide. Whatever you want to do. So I'm just bringing all this information to your attention to bring you a little bit of confidence in the market that just because we're super low right now doesn't mean we're going to be that way forever. And as always, thank you very much for watching.